Right, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the video blog one more time, the Hoxton Trend. Right gang, real quick one man, as you know it's been um, it's been quite a long time since, since I've done a fake versus real so I thought I'd better start cracking onto it and doing some reviews. Christmas is up now and there's so many fakes online, there's like so many fakes on Instagram, there's so many fakes on eBay, so many fakes on Depop, there's just like fakes everywhere man. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do some fake versus rules and try and clear all this stuff up, okay? Now, one of these hats is um, genuine, one of them is fake. I'm gonna give you a quick look at both of them so you can kind of have a look and just see right there. <laughs> Almost a bit of a giveaway on that one. And then we've got another one here, guys, okay? Both hats look really, really identical, really, really similar. Just to call it out, the fake one is, of course, this dark navy blue one right here. Now, this one was sourced from eBay, and I think it was like about £20 or something like that for this one. Now, the way the guy advertised it is he didn't say it was fake or anything, but there was nothing on the web, on the eBay page to suggest that it was a genuine either. Now, this item, the original price, I think I think, I can't remember now, I think the original price was around £59, £60 or something like that. And then the copy was £20. So the first thing I'm going to look at is the tags. One of the things that I've noticed with Stone Island is that when they send you, the, when they send you an item, you can see they usually always send it with this black string here, which is attached to the tag. As you can see right here, there's the price, £69. So yeah, that's all good. You can see that kind of black tag here. What I noticed is with the um, counterfeit one you can see they've got this white they've got this white connector here i've never ever seen that on a stone island um, item so if you see that on your garment then that's one of the things that you can kind of kind of look at and think hmm something's not right here this is look a little bit odd and the next thing that i noted is the actual stone island the genuine stone island tag it's just a little tiny little bit of a lighter dark color the uh, fake one is completely dark now unfortunately if you look at the tags they're kind of exactly the same size exactly the same cut um, again this is the genuine one right over here it's really difficult to tell if you look at the print it's it's more or less identical man the only way i could tell between these two is that this one the genuine genuine one was very much slightly lighter than the um, fake one which is a bit darker but you're never going to tell that unless you put these two items together another kind of giveaway for me is that if you look on the back of the stone island hats you know they got stone island um kind of engraved now if you look at the fake one you can see that they've put it the other way around it's actually facing outwards it's facing towards the right where the fake one is facing towards the left also, if you look very closely at the print, you can kind of see that the, the Stone Island is not very well done on the fake one on this side, and the Stone Island on the genuine hat, the, um, the lighter blue hat, is a little bit more defined, and it's a little bit more shorter in the text compared to the fake. So yeah, basically the, the um, fake one, it's, it, the embroidery is not, it's not exactly great. Another thing that I've noticed is in the newer Stone Island hats, they're using the um, kind of plastic here, uh, I, I believe on the older Stone Island hats, they did use this kind of metal fastener like before. I'm, I'm not really too sure because I haven't seen this, the older Stone Island hats, but I'm pretty sure the older ones did use this. So if this is meant to be a new hat, you can see that they're using the, the metal here, which is which is not on the genuine hat. The biggest giveaway of this hat though, for me, is that it's not got a, a Certi logo inside of it. If we look on the genuine, and remember what I've told you guys, that you must hide the Certi logo because if you show it to people and too many people use it, just gen genuinely trying to check your item out, then it could void your um, Certi logo and then it will start pulling up as fake or invalid so you don't want that it has got a size there of size m on the inside it's got the stone island tag which you can see there so that's all good so yeah everything there is kind of looking correct whereas if you see the um fake stone island you can see it says stone island there it's got the, a little kind of number just beneath stone island and if you look at the label for a lot of you guys that own stone island items you can see that that clearly doesn't look right with that stone island tag there and it's even got an art number which i don't even know if that number is correct or anything typically stone island will will name the materials of all of their items so you can see that it says 100 percent cotton so if you're not seeing that on the hats then we know there's a problem uh, another funny thing to note is they put this silly little kind of plastic there which stone island would never do because that looks so cheap they've just simply got a bit of playing card in there so if you look on the inside of the hat you can see it's got some black paneling on the inside on this part here which the fake one doesn't have the fake one just has a white paneling on the inside now again i don't know if the vintage items had this had this kind of same um white paneling on the inside they might have done but if you're looking at a new kind of newer stone island hat 
then you know if you see a seller online that's selling it you can always ask is this a newer version of the stone island hat is this a 2016 2017 because it should come with the black lining like that on the inside okay you can see if we actually look at the stone island signs themselves that the um, original stone island one is it's kind of a, a little bit bigger than the fake ones a little bit smaller now in terms of detail on that the writing on the stone island really looks kind of scrunched up and it doesn't look it doesn't look very good even if you look at the island here if you look carefully it, it's even really really difficult to read also here it's really kind of difficult to read you, you, you wouldn't notice it too much from a distance but when you kind of look up and close and personal you can kind of see that the, the stitching is really bad on that one whereas if you look on the main stone island you can see it's a lot more clearer it's a lot more detailed and defined and yeah uh, overall it just looks a bit better but to be honest with you if you're kind of far away you may not really notice that man so that, that that could be a tough one to tell you can see where they've constructed the hat on the beak you can see where they've kind of cut it off and the cut is really kind of smooth and nice and clean well apart from that little bit there but if you look on the the fake hat you can see that the stitching is really rough like that look look how the stitching is on the fake one you can see where they've just kind of rushed it and they haven't done it properly so if you see something like that you know that the finishing is not very good so that could be um that could be a problem so that's it guys that's it for the fake versus real on these two hats but you can also check out my um instagram account as well it's called um fake spa I started this up not too long ago and i'm going to be posting on there again so a lot of these um images that you see on here and how to spot the differences between these two hats i'm going to be putting pictures on my fake spotter account i'm going to be updating this so you guys can get regular updates on how to spot some fake versus real items okay hope you enjoyed the video lots more coming stay tuned like subscribe you know the rest peace out